Good morning, everybody. So what we got going on is a wheel on the yard cart uh, that has exploded because I may or may not have been riding in the yard cart. And I weigh a lot. So I popped the wheel. But they're tiny little wheels. Anyway, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to fix it. I got the, the spare wheel. Uh, I went to a local tractor supply store. Got the wheel. We're good to go. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Get a cup of coffee. Let's get into it. Always want to make sure you put your jack under the uh, appropriate jacking area. It sounded weird. Uh, <laughs> we're going to turn it up. Come on. Tighten all the way. Let's go. I don't know if this jack is going to be enough for this cart. We'll see. Oh man, it's going to be close. All right, I think we're good. Cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is get this microphone posted up. There we go. Uh, I turned this because we got to take get this cotter pin off. This is just a little uh, inch and some change. There we go. Straighten it up. Pull it out. Oh man, I should have put some jack stands. So now, very carefully and gingerly, we're just going to pull off the wheel. Boom. There it is. And as you can see, um, here's where the catastrophic damage happened. Definitely not my fault at all. Uh, not the fault of me. Okay, very next step we're going to do is we're going to take these pry bars. Uh, we're going to get to work and uh, actually start on one side away from the nozzle. And uh, we're going to just start prying the wheel up over the, the rim. There we go. Okay, so those of you who know, you know, that was a pain. That was horrible. I hated it. Uh, jacked up my fingers a couple times, but we got it done. So now we have to take the tube out of the tire and then uh, get the new tire back on and then put the tube back on. Okay, now that my heater shut off, we're going to just take the tube out. Ugh. I might have to deflate it. It's like Jim Carrey when he's popping out of that rhino. Ah, my fingers are stuck. Ah. So I have a Schrader valve uh, tool. But for me, sometimes this is easier. Now that that's deflated, it should be a lot easier to just pull out. Yeah. Okay. So we got the tube. All right. So what I'm using is this Tough Stuff multi-purpose foam cleaner. Let's uh, let's pop it. Let's pop it. Let's not pop it. Let's inflate it just a little bit more. hear it and I see it right there see it right there okay so we looked online and there's uh, no tires within like a one hour drive from us um, so we're gonna put this to back in the tire and we're just gonna put it all back together so uh, if it deflates it deflates I need to use this trailer and this little cart and uh, I gotta put one on order because they don't have one so it's all right it happens let's, uh, let's get it put back together we're gonna take our little Schrader valve tool right here 
take out the Schrader valve. There it is. And while the valve's out, we're going to squeeze all the air out of it. Once all the air's out, we're going to put our valve back in. that no air can get back in my absolute favorite part of this whole process is getting this into this as you can see uh, this rubber is super hard compared to the original um, we're gonna start with the cleaning spray and then if this doesn't work we are going to move on to the um, to Dawn dish soap. Okay, so exactly what you guys saw me do, don't do it. Uh, Turn the wheel over to the back side, and you have all the room in the world. Time to get this fixed. Okay, so check this out. Not only did I not mount the tire, but I caused two giant gashes in the tire. There's one, there's another right here while doing it that way. So do not do it like I was just showing you. So now I have to get a new tube. Anyways, I was going to order one. I'm still going to put this back in because uh, I think that this tire will hold the air. Um, and then I'll just replace this tube later. But that's going to be great too because once this is on, it's a, kind of a bear to get off. So, yep, don't do what I'm about to put on the internet because I just ruined what good tube I had and I don't have one to replace it. So... I'm a genius. <sighs> All right, so you gotta, you have to know when to call it quits. You have to know when to admit defeat when a yard trailer tire has defeated you and you've busted your fingers enough and uh it's still winning it has officially won i'm giving up for now uh, i'm probably going to uh look on youtube to see what an easier way is to change these tires because they are a beast um and i might even just go buy one that's pre-mounted um i think they're only like 30 bucks maybe so th there comes a point in time where you just got to realize listen I, I i spent like two hours on this thing to save like 20 bucks is it worth it or to save five dollars an hour um when you can just order them i don't know um i think if it would have taken me like 30 minutes like I thought it was, yeah, it would have been worth it. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble, and it's time to call it quits. I'll post an update on Facebook or Instagram. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know how loud you were screaming when I was completely destroying the tube on my tire. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a good morning.